Man, what a treat. Don't mind if I play, um, play a little cover song. Anybody out there ever heard of a guy named Jim Croce? Yeah. I love the water play, sir. I got to play at Croce's, you know, I was there about eight years ago. Or so, didn't miss, it's been that long. Wow, just saying it makes my brain hurt. I just got a brain freeze. Um, but I, I played there about eight years ago, and Ingrid was nice enough to let me come back and play, um, sit in and do a set last night. And it's always an honor to get to go there. And I busted my tail learning up Jim Croce set of songs, and I forgot half the doggone lyrics. You know why? A little bit intimidating when Ingrid Croce is standing 10 feet in front of you watching you sing every line. Oh, you are awesome. Please, another round of applause for our beautiful hostess. Yeah. So I'm going to play a couple of Croce songs. Just, um, I know y'all are going to see some Bo Bice, and I'll I play Bo Bice stuff all night long, but I get tired of that guy. He was on my last nerve. <laughs> he owes me 50 bucks. We have the CDs. And he snores, right? <laughs> Yeah, you got the CDs, you can listen to those. Let me play some good music. You can say, hey man, play some of your hits. Let's change the conversation. <laughs> no, um, I do, man. I love what I get to do for a living. I've, I've been able to make a living, y'all. Sitting on stools and hanging out and playing music like this. And uh, this is coming up on like 18 years I've been making a living. I, I started my career sitting on a little stool in uh, London, England. And I remember I, got, I was 15 and I got paid, I think it was like 25 pounds to sing at this show. And at that time, I was more interested in the free beer than the 25 pounds. I think I got free beer and then I was so daggum drunk when they paid me, I ended up like giving them the 25 bucks back because I thought I owed them the 25 pounds, you know? There seems to be a pattern because it took me a couple of years before I started noticing I don't need to play for free beer. Uh -huh. And uh, so I've traveled around, man. I've been blessed enough to get to go through all throughout Europe, and I've had a colorful childhood. And that's why I like to cut up a lot. I like to make it fun because uh, I believe wholeheartedly if you take life too doggone serious, you're going to be a disappointed person because you overlook every blessing that is laid in front of you because you're too busy focusing. It's like we're driving up from Cal uh, from uh, San Diego today and I started looking and I noticed a little bit of that kind of, y'all got that little bit smaller than the one, you know what I mean? All right, see a little bit of it? But you always know that a little bit later on in the afternoon it's gonna peel on off, it's gonna be all right, and everybody's gonna be out there surfing and it's all good, right? But some cat sat around and they moved all the way out here and they still sit around every day, can you believe this thing? Dude, have you seen the view from the surf and cowboy dick? Oh, 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 nothing to complain about here, man. So I've been uh, hanging out all day here in paradise. No, don't worry, I'm not moving again. So your property value should stay good. No, it should be good. But uh, I have been so blessed to be here, and y'all have been truly just an inspiration to not only me, but I know our friend Skyler and my friend E. Scott. So I want to thank the Surf and Cowboy once again for having me. And uh, y'all give them a big round of applause. Good job. On the south side, we'll see a lot. That is part of town. That if you go down there, it'll just be a big But a man ain't what he brought down. All the people, bought a truck.
the way he did You know the Leroy, he was shooting dice And at the edge of a bar said a girl named Madonna said Who oh, had them look nice With well, that cast his eyes apart And the trouble soon began 